Well, good evening, folks. It's the real Captain Kirk here. It's the 21st of November, Sunday evening. We're live from one Bethlehem Plaza here in downtown Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Last week, we were up on uh, Fox Weather talking about uh, supply chain issues. Again, uh, how record heat in China and uh, extreme drought in Brazil uh, obviously had some impact on uh, everything from cans to, uh, you know, things you'd buy in your grocery store here this week. So, again, uh, worth checking that out here on Fox Weather. Also spoke to the folks at uh, RCN Community Spotlight uh, on their TV network and NPR radio. So, busy week on that front. Looking at the last week's summer here, now this is big maps for temperature trends versus last year on a national retail calendar, uh, weekending Saturday. Here in the U.S., it was about 2.2 degrees cooler than last year, 17th warmest in 36 years, so just a hair above average, 12% wetter than last year, fourth driest in 36 years, so much below average precip. Uh, while snowfall was up 69% over last year, still 10th least in 36 years, so below average national precip. Up in Canada, almost wall-to-wall -wall warm here, 4 point warm. Warmer than last year, what is in 12 years? Uh, UK, a little bit warmer, warms in 12 years, much above average there, driest in 16. Europe, just a tad cooler, again, above average, driest in 10 years. Russia, just a little bit cooler, again, above average, drier than last year. Uh, China, a little bit cooler, and Australia is really the cold spot, uh, six degrees uh, colder than last year, coldest in 22 years, so very cold down under. Brazil, just a little bit cooler, uh, below average temperatures down there as well. Maps inset left are the trends versus average. Uh, one thing, two things actually that are going to be significant factors that we had projected in our year ahead outlooks for big retail customers was um, La Nina and PDO. So both of these cycles are, um, La Nina is the equatorial Pacific, um, quite a bit below normal. In fact, uh, we're looking at a model guidance of a strong La Nina, uh, moderate for sure, strong possibly as we get to January, and then just a very slow climb out uh, into next year. So we're going to talk about La Nina pretty much into the start of summer next year. The other cycle is just the Pacific Decadal Oscillation Cycle. That's the now the second coldest in 20, 125 years. Uh, we have to go back to, I think, 1955 to see a PDO this cold. So cold Pacific for sure, um, that really cold water, and then the still relatively mild Atlantic is going to have a significant impact on our winter and spring ahead here. So again, just two cycles we'd look into. Uh, this week, again, heard quite a bit of hype here about how horrible this week is for travel. Uh, really not that bad. 2.9 degrees cold in the last year, still 18th warmest in 36 years, so about average national temperatures, uh, about 52% drier than last year. So we've had some really bad uh, Thanksgiving weeks here, and this is really not that bad. Uh, driest in four years, fifth driest in 36 years, so much below average national precip. Again, some, some headaches maybe from Little Rock into New England, but again, very uh, isolated in some regards. Pacific Northwest looks uh, pretty wet this week. 24% less snowfall than last year, least in four years, sixth least in 36 years. So again, much below average on that front. So again, really not that horrible if you're out there traveling here this week. We'll look at the six-day snowfall. Again, doesn't show a whole lot here Sunday. Uh, here today, a little bit of system up in the Great Lakes, New England, a little bit of, uh, again, very light snow downwind in the Great Lakes. So not a significant event here. Uh, a little heavier on Tuesday, but again, they can handle this, uh, two, three, four inches of snow. A little bit out in the Northwest Rockies, um, spans a little bit on Wednesday, Thursday, not much. Friday, again, a little bit of reinforcing cool air here in the Great Lakes. Um, but overall, not too bad here. So the six-day period here, you can see, again, some uh, wintry precipitation here that gets you in the mood here in the, in the east and uh, throughout the northern Rocky Mountains. But again, looking at this on a national scale here, we're about 24% below average, uh, below last year actually, 77% below average, least in four years, sixth least in 36 years. So there's been some much worse snowy weeks here for Thanksgiving. Back to 2019 for sure was a big one. 2018 was even pretty bad, 2014, back to 2001. So again, we've had a lot worse in terms of uh, bad weather here. Next week, uh, the only snow you may see here is again, probably uh, dreaming of it uh, outside your window, but uh, won't be much, it's a pretty warm week. 6.5 degrees warmer than last year, warmest in four years, fourth warmest in 36 years, so much above average national temperatures. Uh, there's a little bit of cool weather just lingering right along the northeast coast, but that's going to be uh, diminishing as the week goes on. 24% drier than last year, uh, 17th driest in 36 years, so average precip. 84% less snowfall than last year, so again, number one least in 36 years. We'll see about that. There's certainly some heavier snow in the northern Rocky Mountains, extreme uh, northern Great Lakes, but again, not much um, here on a national scale. We do think that's going to change as we get into December, mid, late December, January, March, look pretty snowy. Um, looking at the world two-week aggregate now, this is again for the two-week period through for December, and this map now is temperature trends versus average. You see a lot of red on here. There's a, a warmer trend for sure. Maybe the best spot if you're trying to sell cool weather or merchandise would be the east coast of the U.S., uh, maybe the western part of Europe. Uh, precip maps, uh, trends versus um, total precipitation, actually, for the world uh, inset left. 
we hope you have a great Thanksgiving, folks. Uh, took the took the girls here to uh, Longwood Gardens or London Gardens, as my little one calls it. But uh, again, certainly Christmas inside uh, here at. Uh, Longwood Gardens. So with that, we'll end with our Thanksgiving message to you and hope you have a great Thanksgiving. Uh, we will be back here this time next week.